Morning guys, uh, Eric Greenmeyer here. It is Monday, late last week of April. I'm not too sure of the date. I think it's the 24th or 25th. Uh, this is my continuing follow-up video. We're gonna do a video of the engine assembly on my uh, big Sea-Doo GTX over there. Uh, this is a 951 DI motor, so it does have the air compressor. It's a direct injection. That's the one case half, the other case half is there, and all my new crank parts, new crank, new balance shaft from SBT, and they finally got it right, <laughs> there was a few issues, they sent me, let's see, that crank in the box there, that's no good, this is the good one that they sent me, but this is the third one that they sent me, because they got it wrong the first two times. So that's there in the box. We're going to take that out. I've already looked at it and checked the ends. The ends were the problems. Uh, they're rebuilt crankshafts. They're not brand new. And all the PTOs, they corrode. So you get bad seals. You, you know, you get a bad leaky seal. That's it. Your engine's done. Um, so, no, <laughs> They got it right. That one's good. We're going to put that in. I'm going to give you guys a quick overlay of this. Uh, got all the parts laid out. My bolts. Those are my head bolts. I polished my ray valves. I got a little ridiculous, right? It's crazy. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe better flow. We'll see. But yeah, no, those are my engine bolts. I'm going to bring them over here. I got the Loctite. I got Molly Coat. I got everything. We are going to go through this. And uh, that's that. So we will pick this up in a little bit. I'm going to get it set up. All right. We are back. I'm going to put the camera up here on the light. We've had good results with this in the past, so very simple. Very, this is a brass brush, very soft, little come out spray. I'm just as you can see, lightly spraying, and I'm scraping the old silicone from the case halves, so the surface is totally clean, and the new silicone will stick. And I've already went through. I've chased all the threads, so that's all gone been through and after I get done doing this I'm gonna bring it over to the compressor and blow it out mm -hmm. I still gotta do the other side I'm not using much force. This is just a brass soft bristle brush. You don't want to take any sandpaper to this or, you know, one of them big scotch bright wizard tools because you cannot remove any material from this. This is a machined fit. That's it. Once you screw it up, you're kind of beat. So you have to be very cautious, very lightly. And the gum out, this is the big, this helps. See how fast it just, you know, melts it. and clean. Yep, you want all that real clean right there. Let me check the whole thing. Whoa. I shot up at the camera probably. Especially want to make sure you get where the dowel pins are. Very good. Those are your indicators. That's what, when you start working this thing down, you have to make sure all your bearing pins are in their assigned grooves. There's a pin, there's a pin, and then they rotate when you flip sides. They go there and there, there and there. I'm going to show you how to all do that. Oh, 
little brass brush is very effective. Kiss it in the journal there, you don't have to go crazy. Like I said, you want a nice clean surface to work with. Wow, it's a stubborn little piece of silicone right there. I don't want to scrub too hard, but I'm going to have to get that one off. Right, little sucker. There it goes. A little Aerosmith in the morning for a Monday never bothered me. I love Aerosmith. One of my favorite rock bands. Saw them in concert a few times at the Art Center. It was freaking great, man. Back in the day, yo. Actually cleaned up very, very nice. Basically what you want right there, kids. Nice, clean, unmolested surface for the new silicone to adhere to and to properly torque everything. Especially around the dowel locators. Those are very important. You don't want any hang up on these dowel pins right here. Because when you're squeezing this case together and you're twerking it, and if something ain't right, like if you miss one of these pins, the pin will get crushed up here. It's not gonna, not gonna end well. <laughs> if you miss it, and oh yeah, it'll run maybe for I don't know an hour before it uh, something happens or breaks. Because you know that's just it's not the way. It's not the way. That is beautiful. We're gonna take it over to the air compressor. All right, I will pick this up in a little bit. But that's a clean case half right there. Cool. Back at it. Just uh, wanted to make a little small section of this video on polishing your exhaust ports and intake ports for smoother airflow. I've seen so many people do it on YouTube and you know, porting with expensive drills. I'm simply just polishing. I knocked off this metal surface, it was very, very rough when we started. Uh, that small little sander disc on my Ingersoll Rand die grinder. Let's see if we can get in there. And it, Super Spot was clean now, so I don't know if it's going to do anything. This is the tool I was using. Uh, 120 grit. Yeah, it's just a little sander wheel on my little. I did that real quick overlay. You know, you can't get in everywhere. With it, it really sanded the metal. You're not taking a lot of material. You're, the goal with it is to make it smooth and knock off any kind of crustiness that forms up for use. So no, polished, this should be good. This motor stock makes 130 horsepower. I'm looking maybe to 140, 145. Um, we are using larger diameter pistons. I got 90 millimeter pistons going in this thing. So it brings it up from a 951 to 
I think the thing said like 995 cc, almost a thousand cc. I'm calling it a thousand because I round up. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna make some serious power, fuel injected. Can't wait. I just wanted to check, you know, show you guys that polished, etc., etc. But we'll come back to it as I put the reed cages in. I added the. Uh, I have aftermarket reeds too. I got these reeds, Carbon Tech. I bought the super stock ones. They're middle range stiff for power, uh, you know, the mid range and stuff. So those are going in that too as well. So I well, can't wait to get this on the water. We're going to we have a lot of fun with this and the kids this year with the tube. This is the jet ski we use for the tube. So um, <laughs> got to get it back up and running. But no, just wanted to check that out. See, polish, 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 polish. Very nice. Smooth airflow. Remember, an engine is an air pump. The faster you get air in, the faster you get it out, the more power you make. So, smooth transitions are nice. Full flow. Cool. All right, we'll check back later. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I had to go inside and print out some of the paperwork we need. You know, go online, see do manual, you can print out everything you need. So the bottom end gives you all the stuff. I mean, I didn't print out all of the whole section, just the important ones, counterbalance shift, uh, how to silicone it properly. Uh, we got yeah, the index markers, frame pins, you know, the important stuff, that one bearing you got to keep off. And last but not least, all the torque specs. So we're going to get to this. We're going to come back. I'm going to set everything up. I'm going to put the crank on the bed first. We're going to install the seals on the crank. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to prep the cases, which I have cleaned from earlier in the day. Those are now ready. So we are going to pick this up in a few minutes. <laughs> 